my brother is older by five minutes. And apparently those five minutes gave him the ability to succeed in life. Because <laughs> that is, that's the case for most twins. Usually the older twin excels everything by just a smidge. And this is true, Sam's like, this is true. You struggle with this. Your brother gets better grades and stuff. You go to the same school, so that's good, right? Yeah, you hang on, hang in there, all right, buddy? <laughs> believe in you, we believe in you. <laughs> My brother's better at everything. Better grades in school, better at sports. This goes back to birth. Uh, this is true, all this is true. <laughs> uh, my parents didn't know that I was coming. Yeah, they weren't expecting me. I thought they were just having my brother. That's awesome. I crashed my own birth. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. <laughs> I crashed my own birth, right? So that's no good. So my brother comes out and I go, oh, look at our little baby, we love him. He's got success in his eyes, this is our fella. And put him in a nice, warm, cozy blanket. And this is what the doctor said, word for word, because his story is so true. I mean, it's so funny. <laughs> Everything is true. It's so funny, he was told at every Thanksgiving dinner. The doctor said, he said, wait, there's something more. There's something more, like I'm some beast or creature of unknown species or origin. That's a licensed physician. <laughs> Saying there's something more, like what? Why don't you say, hold on here, we got some afterbirth and it's taking human form. Like I said, my brother's wrapped up in a nice warm, cozy blanket. They put me in a bedpan. That was my... <laughs> My welcome mat to the world was a bed fan. I'm like, I'm freezing. I'm freezing. Can I get some gauze or something? Anything. <sighs> People ask creepy questions. Let's put guys, guys ask creepy questions. Guys ever ask if you do the old switcheroo with your girlfriend? Brother's girlfriend? You never got that? I get that quite. I got it all the time. What's that? I got it all the time. Oh, you did? Why'd you say no? Because you never did. You never did? Well, of course you did, because you're not a sociopath. Good for you, Sammy. We believe in you, Sammy. That's right. No judgment. There's no judgment here, you guys. No judgment. <laughs> I know. It's a creepy thing. Like, can you imagine that scenario? Where I'm like, like, my brother's girlfriend doesn't know that I'm, <laughs> she thinks I'm him, and I like, make it out there. I'm like, ah. It's not, it's not, I fooled you. It's old switcheroo. <laughs> Psychotic. <coughs> I'm one of the worst days of my life. My brother and I played football in high school, right? And at the end of the season, well, that's right, guys. I played football. Check it out. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> it was 5'7, 150. Pretty much unstoppable, you know what I mean? And at the end of the season, they give out the awards to all the players. He got all the awards. He was captain of the football team. I wasn't. He was MVP. Broke the rushing record as a running back. Got all conference. You know what I got? I got a cute little certificate. <laughs> a piece of paper. It said honorable mention. <laughs> you guys are familiar with that. That's illegal. You know what that means? Basically, it means nice try, Rudy. That's what that should say on it. Good hustle. Good hustle, loser. Find your friend Lucas and play with bugs, okay? Because you're a nerd. You guys see the movie Lucas? It's from the 80s, it's a long time ago. So let's focus, we're walking out, my brother's got all these trophies and awards. I've got this stupid piece of bark with calligraphy on it, just feeling worthless. The tension's thick. My stepmom was trying to make me feel better. She's like, wow, chill, that's great, we should have that framed. I'm like, yeah, that's a great idea, Wendy, we'll frame that. Hope on my wall here of all my failures, and shortcomings in life, it'll be great. Yeah. 
Put it next to that one. What does that one say? DUI. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Shelly Blue 2.6. <laughs> it's not good to do that, you guys. That's not good. It's bad. What about this? 890. What's that? That's your combined SAT score. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> it's a really bad score. Do you guys even take SATs anymore? It's ACTs, isn't it? ACTs. ACTs? What's a good score for the ACTs? 36. Okay, I got 23. That's not good either. <laughs> I, here's what I always say. Oh, if you talk to someone that takes a test like that, I'm like, <laughs> I would always say, oh, I don't, I don't score well on a standardized test. That's just not my thing. I don't score well in standard. It's like, it's such a cop out. I was like, really? Well, is it the number two pencil that bubbles that disrupt your linear thought patterns? <laughs> You're a dummy. Subscribe to Dry Bar Comedy for even more of the world's largest collection of clean comedy.